about waiting for the hooter to go here at the start game two, day two. Luke Oxford joins us again. How are you, big fella? Kia ora. Uh, Talafalava, Bula and Malalele. Uh, good morning, JD, and good morning to all the viewers at home. Really looking forward to day two of uh, Confray 2023. Mm. A few sore bodies getting out of bed this morning, but enthusiasm will be high. So Clairvo McKillop are on your right of screen waiting for the Hooter to kick off, and Assumption College will be receiving. So wait for the Hooter. Uh, plenty of activity down here at uh, St. Lawrence's Playing Fields down on Beanley Road. If you come down Main Road, turn left, and you'll find us down here and 5,000 other people and tents and players and parents, supporters, food vans. So we're underway with Wickman sending the ball into play, and away we go. Tackle there is Carol Loka. careful on their enthusiasm they've sort of coming up a little bit quick there clever McKillop from the Mancravat area I think uh, the great origin man Darren Smith still on the teaching staff there at Mary McKillop this is a really good set here from the boys uh, from Assumption, Assumption College Quick play the ball, isn't it? It's with Collins oh. now, and Collins just motors up, takes two or three, still going, oh. Collins, driving with the legs. Loving this, Blake. Look at him. Hey. He's a big unit. He's got the... Quick play the ball. He's got the zero tape on and everything. Yeah. Looks great. Kick into the end goal area. It's going to go just short of the try line, tidied up the back there by Koo. Oh, what a good first up tackle. Well, on the back of a good carry, defensively-wise, they're starting to man up as well, uh, Assumption. Still 10 metre lines just crossed. Again, heavy contact. This time coming through Toby Spiller. Now they go a little bit more expensive trying to find a way through, but the tackler comes through in Mitchell Ranger and he stops him. A bit of progress, along with a little bit of help there from Lachlan Collins. Yeah, that was a good tackle from down below from Collins. Got all the tricks. We spoke about it yesterday. Look at the... Uh, the skills of the front rowers are far more widespread than back in the old days. Hey, Heavy contact heavy coming contact. through there from Ranger. Oh, Still the last. Great effort there by uh, Clairvo to get their kick away. Doyle allowed that one to bounce, but anyway, he got lucky it came back into his hands. And Levine comes through in a good kick chase. So Clairvo got to their kick eventually. Good. Now with assumption, yes, mate. There's good line speed from uh, Clairvo off this kick. Three tackles, you know. Uh, sorry, three tackles here, and, and they've only gone 10 metres, so well done to Clairvo. So here he Collins. There you go. Offloading. Quick. Oh. Another offload. Wayne Wright. Wayne Wright has a player outside, sends it to the back rower, and Gutty. And what Gardner a try! Score. What a try, JD. That was sensational, uh, unbelievable. There, that that movement, that piece of play started back on the 60, 60 meters out from Clairvaux McKillop's try line. If we have a look at the replay here, nice little t uh, offload there. Seven, seven from Assumption busts through the line, throws a throws a pass left, and and the back rower backing up. Outruns the, the fullback to score in the corner. That was excellent work from both front rowers. Unbelievable. What a start from Assumption College. Well, they did it from the first set of six, didn't they, mate? They yeah. just showed their intention. Big drive up the middle, a long 80-metre first set. Then defensively, they actually had Clever and a little bit of all sorts with their last last kicking option. And then great play and I, I was I was wondering why uh, Lachlan Collins actually passed it I didn't know why he kept going forward but obviously the play was to go wide yep. and then the halfback made a th break through um, Wayne Wright and and what's really what's really impressive uh, with the assumptions attack in this in this first uh, three minutes they hit the midfield they open up both sides of the field for attack and they go back down the short side you know and uh, that was really good work there by the big fella Collins I tell you what, mate. I'm liking. Uh, I'm liking the look of this big fella. 
He just works hard, and he works hard in the middle, you know, uh, both attack and defence. So let's have a look at this replay here if it's coming back on. We'd love to see that play again. So here Collins takes it, tips onto his, his front rower. He gets his head and shoulders through. And that and that's excellent work there from uh, Wainwright. Just backing up off his shoulder and he throws a beautiful ball to Gattery there. Uh, Gattery there, sorry. So here they come again, the assumption. Shell shocks a little bit. Let's try to get this defensive set in line, Edison Lee. That's not what they wanted, a high shot. That's going to be another inside the 10. So a bit of over-enthusiasm. I'll kick for touch here. The wind is not as bad as yesterday, mate. So, yep. A little bit more uh, more confidence in the sidelines. Yes. And, I, and like this is really important now. We've had five minutes and, you know, here... This is the third set of six for Assumption uh, College Warwick, you know, and Clairvaux's only had one, so they really needed a defensive stop here and just, you know, control and try and get back in the game. Oh, Collins again. Look at his God. legs pumping. Jeez. Like Trojan horse. Got 50 people in him. Takes him for a ride. He's had three carries so far, JD, and two tip-ons. DeLuca. DeLuca. Steps out of one tackle, but not the second one. Rolled down there by Johnson. Now at Dean. Short pull onto his half in Wayne Wright. Jeez, they're getting post contact meters here, aren't they? The first up effort from McKillop needs to be better. Halves combining, long cut out ball. This might be the, the winger and Doyle. He'll get up. Eight short of the try line. Flat line here, unfortunately, for Assumption. So kick into the end goal. And that'll be allowed to go dead. That's ooh, 20, Schultz. 20 meter restart there. They probably, if they had their time again, JD, they'd probably put it up high in the air. It's a very short dead ball line here at uh, St. Lawrence's College. Ooh, contact there. Great the contact middle. from Collins again. Jeez, he's been physical in his first, first six minutes. What do you say to a player when he's that size? You know, obviously you can't do the full 20 minutes. But just, you, do you give him 10? You say, give me. Give me 10 and then they'll give you a rest? Or? Oh, 100%. Uh, you, you'd be asking uh, players like Collins and Leota, you know, just to start well, you know, from yesterday in Iona. Give us the first eight minutes, you know, get the boys on the front foot, and then, you know, we'll, we'll take you off just before half time. Well, seven minutes have gone. Collins is struggling to get back on side, but he's, he's there. I feel he's more... More of a battering ram than a defensive man. Again, just ah. struggling to get back on side. Quick play the ball. Kick over the top. It's going to be taken there by Cruder. And that's uh, they got to their kick there, Clevo. So, good set of six. That's a good positive uh, start, you know, coming off some very hard defensive sets. Now they're going to work. Collins. And Collins is off now. The big fella. So, uh, as, as expected, eight minutes. Yeah, he's, you can see he's struggling to get back on side, but only because of a lot of effort. It wasn't like he was unfit or anything. So Mitchell Ranger gets absolutely crunched, guilty of going sideways. as an easy target. This is really good shape here from Assumption College. Oh, oh. Loses the footy, and that's not gone into touch, but it's a knock-on. That'll be scrum feed to Clevo McKillop. Field position will be right on halfway. Really liking uh, DeLuca here. He's out the back here, gives an option. Uh, probably I wouldn't have gone through that cutout pass. I would have just went through the hands just to engage the defensive line. And now, now they've got a scrum mid midfield here. Clairvo McKillop. This is probably their first genuine opportunity to attack. Let's see what they can do. They've got a big number three here. In just seeing his name, T Tupu uh, Tala. So he, he looks like he's a uh, you know one. One that probably they need to get into the game. So it was clever with the scrum win. Defensive line come up pretty oh. quickly. Short flat ball there onto Burke. Oh. Forward pass. Forward pass. Well, a couple of players are blowing up because in Union there was nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, mate, <laughs> they get away with it every week. <laughs> Would have been play on there, JD. Totally. Mate, I'm it's forward. I think uh, you know. When you haven't had much ball, JD, it's really important that you just get touches in the back line, you get your guys in the game. Me, I would have just said, right, oh, Tupu, 
I would have got the ball to Tupitala there and just said, right, I first carry there and then followed by the other centre. They've got some big centres here. They just need to get them in the game. So now Assumption with a set play. Defence <coughs> comes up. Don't know whether that was touched. No, it wasn't touched by a Clevo player. Or Assumption had lost to Coles. That'll be a scrum feed now to Clevo. In exactly the same spot, pretty much. I think it was no, a knock, knock on. No, it was it was a yeah. knock on, JD. From Clevo. Sure, he put his hand out the other way initially, and then he's gone back the other way now. So with, with his play here, it was a really nice little uh, overs play here. Center tries to get on the outside, tried to get that ball, but it was just knocked down there by the number 19 for for uh, Clairvo. Yeah, he did put his hand out to uh, say it was feed to Clairvo, but anyway, he must have got a second thoughts. Scrum feed. You can go back further than that with the scrum feed in the league, mate. There you go. All the way back to the lock's feet. So set play again. This time the fullback and DeLuca. Elusive is DeLuca, the number one, and Kobe really DeLuca good will get up. Up carry. Now they're gonna they're gonna build on this. Jeez, they're lining up here, aren't they? The assumption boys. Everybody wants to have a crack. Man, I'll be going back down that way. short side. There's three down there. Spiller. Quick, quick play of the ball again from Assumption College. Again, they test the right defensive. Clairvo. Schultz has been really busy in this first couple of uh, in this first ten minutes. Good carry there again. A nice little offload. Harrison Bowl. They're keeping it alive here. It's a try. Is he got it over the line? The referee's going to award the try first. Instance. I thought it was the prop forward, but he's got the offload as Luke said. I'm not too sure who the try scorer was, but that's just good set play. Comes off a couple of knock-ons from. Clairvo. This is really good work here from the front row for Assumption College. Warwick gets a nice little offload. And one of the hardest things to do is to defend uh, an offload. And you have a look here in that particular set there. It was um, young young Dean and just getting another offload again and they score in the corner there. Yeah, Cooper Morton, the number nine, backing up. Obviously backing up to, for the quick play, the ball from the forward. Instead he got the footy on the fly. Have a look at Collins. Collins has gone off and He's coming back on after a bit of a breather. Much of a breather for poor old Collins. Maybe he just comes. Is, is it unlimited interchange? Yeah, it's unlimited. So I guess they'll kick off, yeah. throw him at the line, and then yeah. have a breather again. That's correct. I tell you what, JD, that, that was really. It, it's been some really good passages of play here from uh, Assumption College here at Warwick. You know, and one of the things I've been really impressed is just their ball movement. You know, hitting the midfield. So here, having another look at it again. I tell you what, it's probably one of the hardest things to do in rugby league here is to, to defend an offload and then defend another part, a short pass. As soon as you move it away from the traffic, it's too hard to stop, and that's a really, really good, well constructed try there. And, and it's now, now Assumption College goes up two tries to nil. One thing that I did notice in that defence there from Assumption it wasn't a lack of trying, but there was just too many plays in the way. Yep. And that can be over enthusiasm. You've got to trust the man who's going to make the tackle. I thought they just got in each other's way here. Especially with the prop forward. And so ruck spacing's the key. Yeah. You know, if you, they get their ABC defence right on either side of that ruck, you know, that minimises the go forward. So the last thing assumption, I'm oh, sorry, Clever, I need now is to leak any more points. 10 nil, still seven minutes remaining first half. Spiller, he's been strong as 17. Really good shape here. They're coming down this right side. I hope they come down this right side. Well, Collins is lining up on the left. Goes behind him. Wayne Wright. It's offload to the back rower and Garty, a try scorer, gets over halfway. Collins is just standing there. It's really important that there these front rowers got to get in front. Well, that's the uh, shortest run he's carried, but he gets to his front pretty quick too for the big fella. Last tackle. Wainwright puts it down the throat of the, the winger on the far side. And they'll uh, run it out now. Will Clairvo, they would love to put four points in the bank before they go to drinks. It's been a really, really good set coming off a try. Now they, now they got to dig in here defensively and try and stop the, you know, the meters for Clevo. Yeah, Clevo are a little bit gassed at the moment. They're in a bit of a bunch and just a bit flat. They're migrating towards this their commentary side. Lee, three in the tackle here is really good defense there. Well, Great control. And they got him facing the wrong way and on his back. And that's what you want. Tell you what, if I'm the, the coach for Assumption, Assumption College Warwick, I'd be pretty happy with his, with his first 15 minutes. 
That's a halfway line that he's crawled across. Tackler there is Blake. Tuvi. Gives it a lock forward in Wickstein. Nice little torpedo. Knock back, I would imagine. Play on. No, the oh. referee's going to say it's a knock on. Wow. That is a great it's only kick. one way that ball could go was backwards with his hands to his side. But anyway, the referee's there. It's, his call is consistent. All good. It's really important here. When you have a look at the kick here and he puts up a torpedo bomb, if you're the fullback, it's really important that you get yourself set early. See how he's moving to the ball and then it, and then it drops late. You know, for all good fullbacks at home, you want to get underneath the footy, get your feet set, and you know, and put your hands up nice and high. Great work here from Clairvo McKillop. First time in the 22 here, JD. Hopefully they can come away with some points. Here we go. 10-0. Just got to remember, they got six tackles to get across the line. Tupatala. He'll get up. Tuvi, a dummy half. They go to the blind side. Takes the tackle because he overran there. So, uh, Carol Luca had to yeah. take it. Just, if he gave that short ball, could have been carnage there. Great carry from number 11 here. Back rower there. Schultz. Schultz again. There's a couple of Schultz there. Harry yeah. and Charlie, 11 and 12. We've got the numbers that stacked up here on, on this left side. Oh, sign puts a ball on the chest and Schultz again. Harry Harry Schultz had the carry, then Charlie Schultz scores that try. That was really good play here. If you have a look at uh, Clairvo, Clairvo McClellan, okay, they play it. Thirteen gets the ball, takes it deep into the line, and then gives a nice little offload there. Wickstein, really good try there. What was really impressive with Wickstein, when he took when he took the ball in hand, he drifted to the outside, sucked in the two defenders, and that just opened up the space for Schultz to walk straight through. Beautiful constructed try there. Well, four minutes remaining, and you're right, they needed that. But it just comes off a, a knock-on from the kick, <laughs> the torpedo, which I sort of thought it might have gone backwards, but that's ancient history. This what? kick is pretty important to bring him within... Four. Well, this way can't get it, see, mate. I was going to say, JD. One thing that we know that you know, first time in the twenty-two, they come away with points. So they definitely got mm. the ability to attack here, JD. Now they just need to consolidate this uh, exit set. Wickstein. There's such a thing as a good side. I've, both sides of my kicking game are bad. So strike just straight over the dot. So ten <laughs> points to six. Game on. Uh, so this is the this is the the, the lead up to the try. Carol Luca at dummy half gives it to Wickstein. Wickstein takes it to the line and throws a beautiful short ball to Char, uh, to Charlie Schultz. He, he catch and pass pretty quickly there from the thirteen. Oh, it was really that was a really good try. So assumption of the first ten minutes when they were absolutely all over, clever McKillop find himself still in front, but only by four. And what a try does, it breeds Good carry confidence there. and motivation. So look out. See how they go at the back end of this set of six. Good metres, oh. good metres. Good carry there from Tuvi. Oh, Loose the footy. Oh, commentator's curse. Well, the last thing I want to do is give back four points. Oh, Edison Lee, uh, he's unlucky. That was two great carries. First one by the fullback for Clairvaux McKillop, and then the second one by Ed Edison Lee. And unfortunately, you know, they're, now they're 40 metres out from their own line. And uh, unfortunately, you can't, give, you can't give it here. You've got a 2v1 down this, uh, yeah. this right-hand side. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, Assumption College Warwick does. Yeah, Corey Dean's going to feed the scrum. Does he know it's two-on-one? It's going to go out to absolutely no one. I don't think the lock forward is aware that it's his ball. But anyway, I guess in the end there is Toby Spiller. Spill trying to drive forward. Held says the referee will play the ball. 32 metres out. Again, that's that ball carry there in Harrison Bowl. Bowl's been really good uh, in his first half. He's been on the field the whole time. He's been really good for him. Yeah, try assist, as we mentioned before. They give it off to uh, for their first try. We've got numbers on this right-hand side here. If they could just go through the hands. Ooh, big shot. It's still on here. Charlie Schultz puts one on. Marshall, looking for an offload, gets the ball carry, hangs onto it somehow, trying to roll over the troll line, now it's the last. Oh, they've got to go left, JD. Good carry there no, from right. Gardy, the try score, almost gets a double, the Big Ten 
gives it off to the backs as he come across and score. He does, and over he goes. As Tom Blake. <laughs> I thought they had numbers left, JD, but it was they had it down that right hand side. And mate, uh, have you ever seen this in uh, conference Ernie? Uh, a front rower having two try assists out in the edges. I tell you what, Bol's got some skills. Beautiful catch and pass. Gives it to the number three. Oh, Briefly, that's unbelievable. That, that, that's Tommy Blake there. He had a bit of work to do, but, uh, you know, he did a good job. Oh, for a moment, I, I thought it was going to be... I thought he butchered it because yeah. I thought he overran the play. Well, he's got two try assists, the big number 10. I'll tell you what, uh, Bowl has been excellent in his first half. He's played, he's played all the first half, and now they come away with points. Well, they come... Uh and unfortunately, came down to that uh, second carry from Edison Lee. You know, knocking on the ball, and these guys have come away with points. And, mate, that's, that's a killer right on half time. Eight point deficit at the moment. Looking to make that ten. Strikes it not too bad. Goes across the face. And the score will remain 14 points to six. As we check out the first half highlights, and it's all been the... The bowl show. Yeah, let's have a look at this one here. Collins onto bowl. Bowl gets head and shoulders through the line, gives it to Wainwright, and it was a beautiful try that started 60 metres out with with Gardery in the corner. That was an excellent first up uh, start from the, from Assumption College. Here again, the second one. Bowl again, hard carry through the middle, gets his arms free, throws a nice little offload, and then and then once again. Yeah. This is a city where the sun shines all year, where we sing when we're winning, and we play without fear. This city is a family, and families stick together. We've always been in it to win it. This city never says never. Second half, try just before half time. As Assumption College had the advantage of a 14 to 6 lead. Luke Oxford joins us on the call as we are underway with the second half. Assumption College all to do. They've got the, the other players and the potential. They need just a bit of footy and a little bit of luck as well. A couple of that's a really good carry there. 18 metres, caught it in his dead dead ball number 15. That uh, Hodgkins knock back or knock forward was a bit unlucky for uh, for assumption. But anyway, try and work it out. I think this got a little bit more expansive. It seems to be not much what not much doing in the middle third. They're going to try it out and try and soften them up. But the trouble is you can't soften them up because it's only twenty minute halves. Yeah. Mate, that's correct, uh, JD. If, if I was uh, Clevo McKillop, I'd be trying to get to the edges. Yeah. Like this right edge, it's, they're, they're a big uh, three here. And I'd be trying to get the ball in their hand. So Morton gets the kick away, pressures on, loses the footy oh, over there. Oh, turnover. Nicoletti. they got six more here, Assumption. This is a really good start for Clevo McKillop. Now they've got to capitalise here. 20 metres out. Good carry Matthew Spence. Now they're playing some expansive studies with Crothers. Sorry, it goes back the other way. There's a lot oh, forward. Great work. What a try. try. Oh, my God. What a try from Wickstein there. He set up the first try. 
And then there wasn't much doing. And unbelievable. He showed a lot of he showed late feet at the line. And let's have a look at this replay here. They just go through the hands. Wickstein steps off his right. Steps off his right again. Straightens up. And steps off his left. Mate, he's he's literally beaten five players to score that try. And I'll tell you what, JD. You know, it's that, that golden rule. The most uh, the most dangerous player on the field is the player with the footy. And, you know, that's a, that's a really good start there from from Clairvaux McKillop to get on the board, which takes it now 14-10 with a kick to come. It's been all about the back the back rowers, hasn't it? It has been. Back rowers, well, obviously we talk about bowl as well, but it's just the... I was listening to the to the halftime talk from the Clairvaux uh, McKillop coach and he talked about uh, effort and energy and, and to pick up the intensity and they certainly have responded. Yeah, Wickstein and the two Schultz brothers have been outstanding for Clairvaux. Well, well, sh- well it, was the sh- it was the number 12 in um, Charlie. Charlie Schultz who, who really worked hard off that kick chase, dislodged the ball in the tackle. Let's have a look here. Number nine there, Carol Luca, gives it, shifts that ball on. And that was beautiful work for there from uh, the young fellow, Wickstein. Steps off Ooh. his r- right foot twice and then back off his left and he scores underneath the post. Mate, got some footwork for a 13. Oh, he does. He does. Lovely stuff. They held off him and they oh. made him pay. Well, that's what, you know, most dangerous player on the football field is the bloke with the football. He's the centre of attention. That's exactly right. This is a really good carry here. From the edge, from number 18. 14 points to 12. Two-point ball game. Good carry here. They started the set off well here, JD. Yeah, Collins the tackler. Yeah, they believe they can, as you expect, they can win this game. Even though they were down by eight. Now they're down by two. And a penalty oh. to get them out of jail, so... Isn't it funny how halftime can actually just... You don't want it sometimes, do you? No, you don't. Especially when you've got all the momentum. Yeah. You know, that's one way to break the momentum. You know, halftime couldn't come quick enough for mm. Clairvo McKillop. But now, they've come out a different team. You know, just l- listening to DeLuca in the in the backfield, he's, he's telling his guys in the front line to slow it, to slow the, the play the ball down. And look what happened there. They got a penalty. Yeah, no, you're right. The break of momentum. You see it in cricket often after lunch or after drinks break. It always seems to be a wicket. I tell you what, Hodgkins in his second half, he's been fantastic for him. He's had three good carries. There he is again, Wickstein. Gets nice. the offload. Johnson. Jeez, they're a different animal that's come out of the cage at half time, aren't they? Clever to, McKillop. You've got to be... A little- Got to be careful, Assumption College. Oh, break for the halfback, and Carol Luco gets the offload. Try time, and this time it's with the number nine, Nicholas Carol Luca. So the Carol Luca brothers combine, and they're back. They're in front for the first time, Clevo. Yeah, unbelievable there, JD. It's been a really good performance. Here we here just watching the, the replay here. Number seven, Carol Luca. He he throws, shows, and goes, and then and then the number nine in. And uh, Carol Luca again, his brother, backing up. You know, they would have done that plenty of times in the backyard, those two. Really good play here. Yeah, probably right, yeah. Did it all in the backyard when they were studying, but I always say footy comes first. That's exactly right. <laughs> and and now, Clairvaux McKillop have come out, two tries, uh, and they're up 16-14. I'll tell you what, JD, one of the hardest things to do is to defend back-to-back. Uh, tries and now all the momentum's with Clevo McKillop. Oh, well, this is well, four points conversions haven't been all that great today. So important kick. He's got certainly a strike on him, so there's no reason why he can't put this one where it should be. Yesterday they were making all the kicks in the wind, and now today there's hardly any wind, and not even. Uh, well, some of them helped him get that distance, but yeah. today it's all about striking. That's a good strike. That's a great strike. Great strike. Ooh. Waved away. 
So score remains 14 points to 16 points it, to 14. Have a look at this replay here. That was beautiful work. Running Jordan Kaluka steps matches. off his left, throws the dummy, goes through the seam. Brother screaming for it on the outside, and he scores. You know, just just about Field 10 metres left Lawrence of the post. College, play Columbia, well, Catholic College. the dummy Field half and Carol Luca noticed that the market college, split too quickly and he turned back off the left foot through the gap. Field that created Morris, the, Morris, the space Admiral, to set up that try. So good vision goal, there from the dummy half. Again, Field a monster five, carry coming through there from Croydon Boga. I tell you what, Boga's been excellent. He's just coming off the back fence, the big fella. That's what we're liking. Here's Schultz now. This is better defence here from Assumption College, Warwick. Yeah, the message underneath the six would be to lift the energy, stop the offloads. And as you mentioned, oh. like, there's a penalty. So this has been a, that's probably the third penalty there, against Assumption in this second half, and it's been a piggyback ride for Clairvaux here. down to the other end. Head over to your buddy, Three tackles. Struddy. Yeah, they were doing a good a job to keep him within the 22. There, well, oh, they're right. going for a tackle. This, this is brazen. I reckon their pigs are better than the... The assumption forwards. Here they Brody. come. Boga. Good carry. Runs towards the halfback. And Wainwright has to make the tackle. Hitting at a pace. The advantage line's been crossed. Every carry. They're coming back down this right-hand side here. Yeah. Boga lurking. Loses a footy. Unfortunately, does Harry Schultz. And they'll come away with the footy through Doyle. Good recovery there by Doyle. They're, now they've got to dig in here. They've got to work hard for each other, Claire Vaux McKillop. Six more to go, says the referee, and Fridgman in the ruck there. So good play to keep the advantage going from the referee. Not very often we've seen that. It has been good. Yeah, yeah. six to go. I think we need more of it. Collins. Collins. Still going as Collins. Go, you Still good Still going, Collins. Go, you good oh, thing. Oh, he's on his way to Roma Street, the freight train. <laughs> oh, mate. Give it the bowl. There he goes now. There the we go. And Bowl and Bowl gets the offload and the dummy half and the number seven tries to weave his way through the line. Wayne there. right. They got numbers down this left hand side. Doesn't take it. He's going to try to do it himself there, but there's a ball. He's going to award oh. the try. He got there in the end. Oh, what a try. Unbelievable. I thought he butchered it. Because as you said, Luke, there was numbers out to the left hand side. He drove forward. I thought a play got a ball underneath it. But it wasn't to be. He had enough energy and drive to get there. And, mate, this all started from the... If you have a look here... Okay, yeah, the big fella just scoots from dummy half. He saw the opportunity. And, like, when, you, when you're scooting from dummy half, the best thing you can do is get your shoulders underneath their shoulders. You have all the momentum. Hips and shoulders square through the line, and you're just pumping your legs. That's a really good try. JD, you know, it all comes back to that penalty where they took the, the, the tap 20 metres out from their own try line. And then the referee gives the double. Yeah. Six to go. Yeah, you're right. They, they should have probably found touch. You're they, should have, they should have found touch and they would have been attacking on the 40 or the 50 metre line, but they wanted to run it from their own 22. Could that yeah. be the turning point of this game? Two point ball game. 10 minutes to go, though. It's a long time to go. Oh, great kick. Takes it out to four, great. so 20. Great kick from DeLuca. Yeah, just have a look at this here. He just burrows his way through. And the number three there in Burke tries his best to try and hold the ball up, but it's not good enough. Sorry, it's uh, uh, Tupu Tala. Burke's the other, the other centre. This is really, really important defensive set now here for Clevo McKillop. They've really got to stop him here. Kick chase is good. Here we go. Good carry from Bull. Ah, oh, just too long in the tackle there. Well, let's talk about that old cliche, uh, second half of two halves. Ah. Oh. It's all so it's clear by the start of the 10 minutes after the break. Mate, uh, Karaluka, he was doing some good stuff. He just held on held on to Bull just for a little bit too long. And look at Assumption College now. They're 40 metres out. And, and look who's going to get it. It's going to be the big fella. What? Oh, throws a dummy, Collins. Nobody fell for it, especially the four defenders that have climbed all over the top of the big number eight. Tell you what, he get was, off me! It looks like George Rose, you know, just oh hard to yeah, the manly player, yeah, correct. Keeping it alive here, the offloads are killing Clairvo. Look at the razzle dazzle. Wayne Wright, can he get there? Stop it! What a try! <laughs> Unbelievable! 
Oh, mate. That is a sensational try there, JD. They just held off him, didn't they? Oh, they held off him. And and who gave the last pass? It's the number 10, Bol. Have a look at him. Mate, he's he's like Cartwright. He just gets his arm. uh, Johnny Cartwright from the Penrith Panthers gets his arms free, throws the offload to Wainwright, and the defence all collapsed. He just stepped off his left two, two, three times, and then he pins it for the corner. What a try there from Wainwright. Great, great try. I'll go with I'll go with an origin. I'll go for a Queenslander. Arthur Beekson like offload. There oh, you go. Well, I okay. go. I go down to the cockroach side of things. But no, you're right. John Cartwright certainly one of his, uh, that his was, skills. Yeah, you'd always just see the arm, arm just come out when he played for the Penrith Panthers. Just gets his arms free, and and Bowles done a really good job. He's been absolutely fantastic in this game. He's played he's played 33 minutes, and he's and he's probably the first and probably the last front rower. In Confraternity Shield to have three try assists. <laughs> oh, for me, he's been fantastic. He, he got he got he got the set starting. He got it back to the thirty meter line. Yes, I think he might have got all four. You know, he's been involved in all four tries. Oh, I actually, think. yeah, yeah. You, you, you're right there. And mate, it's, it's it's unfortunate for Clairvaux McKillop. You know, they haven't been able to stop that second phase play. You know, when you have yeah. got a guy like uh, Bowl who can just offload the ball. Teams are retreating, and the, and if you don't lock up, if you don't pin those levers, you know, you're all of a sudden you're on the back foot. But look, seven minutes to go, JD. They're only down by eight points. If, they, if they're next to score here, Clairvaux and yeah, Killer, definitely. they can get back into this game. This one's right down the middle, a bit of indecision. Oh, indecision. Loud to bounce oh! on the fly, <laughs> on the way to the chalk, looking for an offload, doesn't do oh, so. Oh, Schultz, here what a great come. work. Oh, my... Unbelievable! It's been turned over. Oh, there was no dummy half. No. Karaluka, he wasn't there. I don't know what happened. Penalty oh, now. Penalty. Oh, oh. that yeah, was a sweet. What the the kick chase pressure here off the kickoff? If you have a look here, Schultz is chasing hard. Deluca let it bounce, and then all of a sudden, the three meters attacking. No one goes in a dummy half, and it's turned over. Wow. Unbelievable. That's a coach killer right there. Well, I thought he's on the way to the chalk there, Charlie Schultz. Such was his momentum, but good defence there. I think oh. might be the halfback. Wainwright put his body on the line. Oh, that, and, and in this competition, JD, stopping tries is just as important as scoring tries. Ooh, high shot. Referee says play on. Still plenty of time on the clock for Cle- Clairvaux McKillop. What I'll be doing here is just making sure there's no penalties, just keeping that discipline. Okay, put, put a bit of pressure on this kick. Get the ball back and then just get into their attack shape. Last tackle. Swift Wainwright being the absolute oh, yeah. special today has been Wainwright. That's going to be allowed to bounce as well. Oh. Comes off the shin. Six again. Has he played at it? Yes. So they can, they've they got to go. go right. They've got to go right. Chance to close it out. Harrison Bowl. I love a four-pointer of his own. 15 out from the try line. Oh, he's been sensational today, JD. Along with this man, Wainwright. Oh, they've been great. Hallman. They've got to dig deep here, Clairvaux. They've got to get a stop. They just need a stop and get the ball back. Numbers here onto the right-hand side. Play comes Two out the one. line. Oh, great little dummy. Yeah, he saw the gap that was created by the man that came oh. out of the line. Trying to exploit it. Yeah, great cover defense there by Clairvaux McKillop. Wayne right again. Bowl. Bowl. Who's there? <laughs> Gets the offload. <laughs> Ah, still alive, still, still alive. alive. Try, try. Oh, Wayne Wright gives try. it up, and over he goes. Does Kruder? Oh, Assumption College, stop it. For me, that that's been that is a great team try there. Let's have a look at the sets of hands. And I said it earlier in the telecast uh, in the live stream. Wayne Wright to bowl, bowl once again takes it to the line, tracks three defenders, gets his arm free, another <laughs> offload, another. Off, it's still still going. Another offload, and it's just a nice little shift into the corner. What a great team try. I tell you what, if I'm the number five there for yeah. for uh, Cruder, I'll be patting everyone on the back. Well, especially Wainwright. Wainwright passed about an inch from the try line anyway. I think uh, he could have gone over, but in the end, made sure of it, gave it to his winger. I tell you what, I've really enjoyed watching Assumption College here play from Warwick. Their shifts... The, you know, they've, they've put the ball out in front. They're not the biggest team, but, boy, they move the, the ball well. And their second phase play has been fantastic. 
I was watching them in the warm up just before JD, and they, and all they were focusing on was just busting the tackle line and getting their hands through and offloading. And it, and it, and, and you can see here it's transitioned from the training paddock out into the field. Yeah, well, if you listen to the listen to your coach. It's amazing what can happen. Oh, unbelievable! I'd be really, I'd be, you know, if I'm the coach, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely wrapped with this performance. Let's have a look at this razzle-dazzle try once again here from Assumption College from Warwick. One end of the side of the field to the other. Keeping it alive. Support players everywhere. Wayne Wright's scooting. He just went past the screen there a second ago. He was on the chalk, but gave, gave it off to Cruder for the try. I'll I tell you what, too, and you, you mentioned it in, there in that replay, the support play from these guys have been fantastic. They've hardly not. They've hardly overran the footy. They've been in a good position. Their support lines have been really good. Well, the referee's gone for a run here because we got the medic down on the far side of the field. And he's gone over to see. I don't know whether it's from this game. I don't know what's going on. Well, looks like we've got a player down on the other side of the field. So it must be from this. And it looks like game. it's uh, from uh, uh, Assumption College, Warwick. So the medical staff are going over there now. Wow. Clock doesn't stop, as you know. So the referee, because I actually saw during the conversion, the medic run across because it's not hard to spot. You can see that suit from space, the big red thing. Yeah. And um, I was wondering where he's going, and there's a player down in the corner. Yeah. I think he's he's taken a hit there. And the poor fella, he's uh, down at the moment. And they're playing on here. Taken in the air, very lucky not to be given the penalty. Clairvaux tried to go the short, the short kickoff. Well, assumption aren't done yet. They want another four-pointer. <clears throat> it's hard to pick a try of the match out of the uh, stuff that's been dished up, uh, Luke. Mate, yeah, it's, there have been some fantastic ones here. I think they've got to go back down. They've got to go to the open side still. Same way. Really good play there. Marshall gets over halfway. One, one thing that's been a highlight of Assumption College is, is uh, they haven't shoveled on any any bad passes, you know? If the defensive line's up in their face, they just take the hard carry. They take their medicine. Comes out of the line there. Does uh, Schultz puts a kick through. The chases are coming through. Allowed to bounce. Tidied up the back there by Nicoletti. Nicoletti. <coughs> he's let, he's, unfortunately, he's allowed the, the ball bounce twice. This time he recovered it. Minute remaining. Look at this from Assumption College. They're absolutely chasing the collisions. They want to finish this game off well. Well, it all started from the first carry, didn't it, from Collins. They made their intention clear, did Assumption Collins. Uh, uh, Assumption Collins. College. college yeah. <laughs> Collins makes the tackle. <laughs> Look at him. And that first 10 minutes really set it up for Assumption College. Might be paying at the back end. as a little chip kick through here. Knock on there, unfortunately, I think, from McClevo McKillop, or will be, and that won't have time to pack the scrum. Really, It's been a really good performance from uh, from um, Assumption College Warwick. You know, Clairvay came out and they scored a couple of... Uh, they scored second two half. Mm. second half, two back-to-back -back tries. Assumption College weathered the storm. They got back in the game. They scored their own try. And, and for me today, you know, their, their two front rowers have been fantastic. Collins and Bowl. That is full time. Assumption College 28 over Clevo McKillop College 16. We'll be back with the next game very, very shortly, so stay tuned. Luke, you'll be joining me for that one. Yep. Talk to you soon, mate. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.